start there. Welcome to New York. How's, hey. it, how's it been going? Uh, it's been good. So far, so good. I think uh, it's a lot of good energy in this group, and I think uh, it's uh, exciting with uh, new management, new coach, and a lot of new faces here. So I think, uh, yeah, it's exciting. Exciting yeah. times. In, fr in the free agent process, like what made this feel like the right place for you to go? No, for those reasons. I think they have a good core of uh, young players uh, that plays good hockey. Um, a lot of good pieces. I think uh, the pieces they brought in made it a little bit more, maybe the roles got a little bit more specific. specific and yeah, so it's, uh, it's, uh, it's, it's exciting. Yeah. Going off of that, Galan and Drury have talked a lot about having more defined roles. What yeah. do you feel like yours could be on this team? No, it's hard to play against, you know. Uh, be a hard play against them. Uh, make a good puck, uh, puck plays, uh, simple puck plays. Uh, be a good shutdown guy. That's, that's what I bring to the table. And uh, what have you seen? You've spent a lot of time with Lundqvist, uh, paired with him. What yep. have you seen from him as just a def young defenseman? Good skater. He's got good IQ. Uh, he has a pretty good shot. He, he's got, you know, he's, he's got a lot of tools to him. Uh, so uh, it, it's for him. It's more of, a, you know, get used to the small rings and how you how you play the game over here. It sounds like a cliche, but it is. It is a little bit different. So um, just just work on that, and um, it'll all take care of itself. I think. He said, sorry. He said during a. Um, uh, and it was in between periods on the MSG broadcast. He was talking about you and said that you've been taking care of him. I guess uh, to have, you know, both being from Sweden, you know, how have you tried to help him transition? No, it, it is, you know, it's a lot of new things. It's not just on the ice, it's off the ice too. And I think, you know, when I got over, uh, I had, the, you know, I was fortunate to have some older Swedes too. Swedes must be good guys. Huh? <laughs> <laughs> um, no, you know, who uh, just just give, gives you uh, you know the, the the details of the game, and, and then helps you off the ice with, with uh, a lot of the new things that is going on. So it's just trying to try to be nice to him. You know, <laughs> is it was that like when you came here? Was it with the understanding that part of your role would be probably playing with a younger guy and helping a younger guy along? Yeah, sure. I mean, it was it, nothing is set in stone. I mean, you can you can draw everything you want on the on the on the board as much as you want during the during the summer, and then two games in, everything can change. But but yeah, I think some of it it was that to, to try to help him a little bit, and you know he's he's a great player. He's going to be a good player if he continues to to develop. So just trying to to be there and help as, as much as I can. As your own your your own game goes, you have played the left side with him, yep. and uh, coach was saying the other day that you know if things shake out. He might move you to the right side if, say, you were with someone else. I yep. mean, are you okay on the right side? Yeah, no, I played. I played. That's a good question. I played uh, the right side for a year and a half in Colorado, and I played on the right side the last year in Dallas too. So it's uh, something that I, that I have played, and I played it in Sweden a bit. So, so I'm, I'm used to playing on the right side. And that's no issue. And then, as far as your game at this stage of your career, like, where do you feel like you've refined your game over the years? Like, and kind of help figure out what kind of player you are. I th I think of. You know, you, you, you know, you know what kind of player you are, but it, it kind of takes time for you to to get settled. And it's it's also different from you know from different teams. If you're in one team, you kind of have one role, and you know what the expectations there, and then you change, and you might be some different. Uh, so just knowing who you are, and then try to become as best as you can in that role is is something that I've worked with, and uh, it's something that I keep working on until this day. And you, I, you feel like you could be a guy who can, you, you talk about being a shutdown guy, a reliable defensive guy, you feel like if you do play with a guy who's got a little skill to his game, you can kind of be some protection for him on the back end to let him take chances yeah, on the rush sure, and things like sure. that. For sure, yeah, I like guys that are jumping up the rush. I like going after uh, first touches in the D zone. Um, so guys like Nils can jump into play and, and you know, bring their, because his, his uh, skating ability and his hockey IQ up the ice is, is very good, so he can use that more. Uh, more of his skill set up the ice. Talk about that that number. Like you had you had to get your number twelve from, from Gauthier, man. What's, <laughs> what's up with that? He was, yeah, he was, he was nice enough to give it to me. Uh, you know, uh, there there might be some compensation to it as well. <laughs> so we'll, it, it's a negotiation process going on right now. So we're just. Uh, we're just feeling each other out a little bit, and we'll see where it ends up. So he gave you the number first, and then you have to negotiate yeah. what the price is? Exactly. So, so it, I, I kind of have the ball here. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, so yeah, I already yeah. got the, yeah, the things yeah, that I wanted. Yeah. Maybe a steak dinner. Yeah. <laughs> Thank you, man. For Thank, your you. Yeah, Thank you. Nice meeting you. Thank you.